welcome back to the comment. Nano Global is a healthcare company that uses nanotechnology to prevent the spread of disease. Now, they're working on a new project. They'll be creating a nanotechnology tool that'll be able to identify disease molecules in the body. The tool will use a blockchain to pull together information from all sorts of sources so that it can identify disease pathogens in bloodstreams based on their behavior and appearances, the way AI technology can recognize faces in a crowd to isolate individuals. Using blockchain data from lots of people can be pulled together into a massive resource of big data that NanoGlobal can then use to better target dangerous pathogens, helping them stop the spread of disease. Winter has come for Bazaar Nasri. That's what U.S. Attorney June Kim said when the FBI announced the identity of a hacker who managed to steal unaired episodes of HBO's biggest shows. Mesri hacked into HBO's servers through employee user accounts. He demanded millions in Bitcoin as ransom and began to leak the episodes online before they were aired. Obviously, he assumed using Bitcoin would retain his anonymity, but that was not the case. The FBI used the hacker's own grandiose taunts and arrogant online persona to track him down. They don't say how, but the hacker is alleged to be implicated in other investigations of Iranian military operations against the U.S. and Israel. So while he's still free in Iran, he is now on FBI's most wanted list. And finally, the groundbreaking German electronic band Kraftwerk is selling concert tickets on the Ethereum blockchain platform to prevent ticket scalping. Their February show is going to be held in Moscow, Russia, a nation that has been undecided on decentralized cryptocurrency. With that in mind, they've reached an agreement with the Russian concert agency TCI to offer tickets for the first time using Ethereum. About 20% of tickets in Russia are sold via resellers, where the risk of buying fake tickets is rather large. So blockchain and the concert industry will reportedly put the squeeze on scalping counterfeit tickets and fraud. That's our comment for the day. Thank you so much for joining us here on this Thanksgiving break. We hope to catch you up on Monday with the latest in, in Ethereum and blockchain. Have a wonderful weekend and don't forget to leave a comment. Join me on the comments every weekday as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all the newest episodes of the comment. If you missed our latest episodes, you can catch up all right here and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at NewthEasy. That's at ETHNewsSci.